what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll show you how to get retro arc on your hack ps2 up and running so links will be in the description guys make sure you guys check out the links so over on PSX place website we have some information on the retro arc ps2 included two cores also it's a new nightly release so it's not the final work and also they said that there is a possibility of running the RetroArch PS2 on our Han PS3. So that's something good guys. So if you scroll go all the way down, they'll show you the download link. It will take you to this page right here. So make sure you download the latest build. I believe it's this one right here. So download it and locate it on your computer. Okay, so once you locate it on your computer, once you download it and locate it on your computer, you're going to get a raw file and it's going to contain both of these files. So what you need to do from right here is just copy over, wait a minute, copy over the one that says quickness over to our USB stick. So this is our USB stick. I already copied over. As I said, copy over this one to the USB stick and then copy over whatever NES game you want to play so I have Contra right here so once you have the quickness and the game you want to play on your USB stick go ahead and eject it and let's plug it in the PS2 port okay guys as you can see I have free map boot on my PS2 memory card so let me just turn down the volume. I don't want to get copyright for the game. So go down to your ULaunch ELF. Once you're right here, press O to file browser. Go down to mask. That's your USB. Make sure that your USB is in FAT32. Now once you're on your USB, you want to load the RetroArc uh, PS2 Quickness ELF. So press O or circle. It takes you to this menu. So go down to load content, press circle. Go down to mass. That's your USB stick again. Press circle. And right here you should see whatever NES game you have on your USB stick. So press circle to load it. Press circle again to quickness. And that's it. Now you can press start and you can start playing the game. So that's it guys, um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, share the video and you can also subscribe for more video to come. So thanks for watching guys, I will see you in my next video.